Plan B today. It's a, a shade afternoon, 1210 or something like that. The lady of the house is flying back from New York today at 4.30. I have to pick her up at the airport. So that's going to shoot my uh, low tide spin all to pieces. And I decided to come down here and hunt up high in that black sand where I was yesterday before the tide dropped off. Where I found a cannon in that uh, round looking giant open air pendant looking thing. That's what I'm going to do for a couple, three hours. I may, if I, if I find, have any luck, I'm going to stay a little longer and just leave from here to go to the airport. We'll see how it goes. Stand by. Side note, the doctor's office called me today. Give me the results back on my uh, two biopsies. The one on my right tit was okay. And it's much better today. But the one on my top of my right ear was some kind of nasty, some, what do you call it, a carcinoma. Basal cell carcinoma. And he wants me back in three weeks to remove it. I don't know what that entails, but knowing this guy, we call him Jeffrey Dahmer. We don't call him Jeffrey Dahmer for nothing, you know? So he's liable to whack off some of my ear to, in a month or three weeks. We'll have to see how that goes, too. I see some uh, ski babies. And the tide is high, but that should be okay. Well, the first target is right here. Sounds like some gray matter today. I think I'm mistaken. I think it's a penny. No, it's 25 meter sand. See this band of black sand? It runs up high down that way. Right where that lady is sitting in that chair is about where the cannon came from and that pendant. I came in from the other way the other day. I'm going this way today. So far, just that quarter. But you can see it's, it's, it's steep. It's kind of hard to walk in. It don't look as steep on the camera maybe, but reminds me of the racetrack at Darlington. And I was a NASCAR driver back in my other life. Stand by. Well, this is like a big clump of mud. I broke it in half. The SC Pro says there's something in here. I've never found a clump of mud with anything in it before. Stand by. Well, I narrowed it down to four chunks. That one, that one, that one, that one. Whatever it is, is in this one. I don't see or feel anything in that one. What it is, whatever that is, is what it is. Stand by, let's get it kicked up here a little bit. Well, you all know as much as I know. It don't feel like lead. Stand by for later observation. Well, the first piece of gray matter is a three ounce pyramid, right there, right in the black sand. Well, there was a sinker. Here's a nice low sound here. Could be a nickel, a piece of aluminum, or a small sinker. Let's see what it is. Looks like some aluminum crap or something. That might be a, a bundle maybe of some kind. No, the, maybe a piece of car, that's what it is. Just the top off of a car or something. The, the hood, I mean the trunk. I think. And waves have picked up. Trying to wash over my sneakers. I wore sneakers today. Look at this, way up here in my black sand. 
almost caught my ass twice. I had to move like. What's that guy's name? Dallas Cowboys. Smith. Jones, I don't remember. Back to action. Must have been a baby tsunami went by something. I got another gray matter and some kind of weird looking thing. Something else. You see that black sand is uh oh, stand by, we got a taquito. I don't know that I like it too much. It is something to dig, I guess. It sounds a little better now with the second scoop off of it. Damn, it's down there, I can tell you that. Come out of there, baby. Three scoops deep. Now, where's the way when you need it? Come up here, baby. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, it sounds like gray matter now. Oh, it is. Big, fat gray matter. A big chunk of sheet layer right there. Remember that hole right there. Sounds like there's something else in there. Stand by. Nothing else in there, but two foot away, there's another nice sound right here. That's gray matter now. Yeah, it is gray matter. I see it. A baby. Baby gray matter. Been going west for 20 minutes, not one target. I put in, put in right up there. Wait a minute. First target. A low target too. A low target. Look at that is. Not like foil to me, I don't know what it's gonna be. Before top of a pop top, golly Jiminy! Black sand is up high. The bank is really steep here. Not as much black sand as it was down there. But right there in front of my coil, there's a coin just laying under the sand. Can you see it? I know you can see it. Let's see what that ticket is. This is a nice, uh, penny. Looks kind of old. Oh, it's a memorial. Good gracious. There's another one. Laying right on top. Penny. Nice. Well, my light just came on, being the rocket scientist that I am. I forgot from that pipe down there where I first came in on, to the west is all fill sand. You remember, remember last year they filled this whole damn beach in? That's why I ain't finding anything. This is all new sand. They started from that pipe and went this way. So I'm going to turn around and go back the other way. The rocket scientist that I am. Made it down to where we dug all the sinkers at yesterday. There's a barge. A big wooden thing, I mean. Let's we'll see if that wave, the morning high tides, washed anything out of the bank or not. I just dug a penny, I mean a nickel. Right there. One five cent in piece. Stand by. The waves are rushing at my feet. Just dug another nickel right out of this bank right here. That's two nickels in ten feet. I can't make out the date though. Stand by. Around up here while I've got it out. See what was there. 
three dimes, uh, six pennies, two quarters, three nickels, seven or eight singers, some crap. That big old knife, it says uh, Ozark something on it, on the handle. I can see Ozark. That's all I can make out. And a big thing of lead. God, it weighs about six, three pounds. <laughs> I gotta go to the airport in about an hour. Stand by. Then I cleaned the knife up a little bit when I got home. She's in rough shape. I don't know if she's going to be salvageable or not. And the reason being, it says right there, Ozark Trail, but it says right there, stainless, China. I doubt y'all be able to see it with this glare. Let me see if I can get it right there. The blade has got major chips in it. I know you can see them because I can see them. I could probably grind all them out, but what will we gain if we ground them out? China. She's pitted all the way through. See, a lot of places that salt where that black rust was and everything. I mean, that rust was on her. That cheap steel. I think I've done as about as much as I'm going to do with this rare taquito. <laughs> Looks like Swiss cheese right there. <laughs> Maybe it's a wintertime project. Ozark Trail. Thought I might have had a nice taquito for a few minutes. In the graveyard.